Hi everyone and welcome to the Dodo Bird Nerd. It's me, the Dodo Bird Nerd, and in today's drawing video, I'm going to be drawing a Carolina parakeet. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get started. So I got my reference image all pulled up, so let's get started with the drawing. I think it's been a while since I've drawn a bird on the channel like i've obviously drawn quite a few birds but i think it's been a while since i've drawn a bird i think it's been a couple of months since i've drawn a bird for the channel so i'm just going to get this basic outline done in this green color and then we're going to move on to other um I think that's going to end up being the wing outline that's sticking out right there. So I'm just going to loop that back around. This is a very rough, rough sketch at the moment. And I'm just going to loop from the other side now. And then I need to drop the tail. Like I said, this is a rough sketch at the moment. Um, I don't know how much of this initial sketch will be kept, but it'll be in a mount. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make this area a bit more normal looking to an actual parrot which basically means curving out a bit more and then does it have a much more gradual that's a bit too much there Hmm. I think I can make this a bit longer. Help. A little bit better. Okay, now I need to fix that wing, because <laughs> that is no, that is, that is quite simply put, no. So I'm actually just going to draw the body normally, out the wing, and I'm going to add it back in later. Um, there, then I'm going to add in the wing let me make the head a bit bigger um Okay, now we bring the eraser tool in again. To finish up this. Okay, I think the general body is looking decent. Um, now it's just gonna be head. Um, making the head a bit bigger. Is 
That might be a bit too big. Um, compared to the body, that might be a bit much. I'm thinking that is a bit much. So we're gonna, we're gonna drop it a little. There we go. Okay. Um, having this thing, having the beak is definitely going to help it look a bit better, I'm going to think. So I'm going to put that in now. Um, I mean, at least a basic sketch of it in, in now. Okay, so there's our at least a basic sketch of it, and that's in now. Okay, now I need to draw the lines because this thing has several colors on it, so I'm just gonna draw lines just to make the paint bucket a bit easier to do. So right there, right there, and then probably around the same point here. Then let's grab the paint bucket tool and do that. Okay, then the next thing I'm gonna do is grab the darker green, put it there, and now I'm gonna grab the brush and blend the borders a bit. Um, and I'm going to grab the darker green to do the borders around the edge of the wing, just to show, basically just to show depth, and show that the wing is indeed above. Like so, and then I'm going to do the blurring again at the edges. Let me reduce the fill a bit. Actually, go under. Make it a bit more of a gradual thing. The same right there here. Okay, now we're gonna do a bit more work on the areas I filled in like that, just to make, basically to make the things look like they weren't outlined in the other, uh, um, in the lighter green. I grab the eraser. Okay, and then we'll go down here and do the exact same thing. I think the tools got moved around. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, then grab the eraser. Okay, let's zoom in and start doing what I did down there, but for the rest of it, essentially. There we go. We move over here. Um, do that. And then go up through here. Okay, I think that's good so far. Now let's go up and do the head. So the first thing is I need this and it goes like around this point. Let's say. And then I'll color in this part now. And then over here. And then do that. Um, and this. Fill it in. Grab the eraser. Okay. And then blend a little bit on the border. Okay, I'm gonna grab this as the, well, I think, I think I wanna make it a bit more saturated. That works, and then there we go. And then just color in through here. And that was not the eraser.
blending. Right there. And now let's go to the beak. It's just the beak, and then I have to give him feet. Then I think we're good to go. Oh, and eyes. I have to give him eyes. And let's grab an eraser. Okay. And let's give him the smile that isn't necessarily the most accurate, but you know, it fits the style of the rest of my series. And then as it is in my series, we're gonna do the light blue eye. That is the normal for my series. Well, not always the normal. It's tended to be the most common thing I'll do. Has been the light blue eye. Yeah. And then... There we go. Let's zoom out. Okay, it looks pretty good. Here's some small things I could do right in here. Basically just filling out the lighter areas. Like so. Um I think that looks nice. A little more, I think, in here. Okay, and now I have to give him the um the feats. And I think we're gonna go with this shade of gray and it's round right here let's say and move it I think they have the, the image is kind of hard to see whether or not they have the back, um, claw or not, or the black toe, I guess would be the best way to put it. Then I'm going to do the toe in the back, so it shouldn't go that far forward. It should only go up to like here, probably. And I think I will. Um, give the little claw like that. I think I'm just going to smooth out this area a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh! So, I made those way too tiny <laughs> oh my goodness oh those were small um let's um let's do this slightly 
more. Accurately sized this time. Wow, you can actually see this being the actual foot this time and not something that looked so incredibly small. Oh, that's honestly kind of funny. Like, at least I think it's actually kind of funny how small I had made the leg. Okay, now I need to add in a back, a back leg. Oh, that was, okay, that was, that was funny. That was a good laugh. And then, like there, a little, and then I'll use the brush tool. Okay, that's a bit too big, I think. So I'm gonna drop the size. Increase the paint density and just fill it in to show there is depth. I need to tweak it a bit more. Somehow I noticed that small, little tiny thing right there. Okay, with that small error out of the way of the feet being way too tiny, I think this is going to conclude my drawing of the Carolina Parakeet. So, what do you think of my drawing of the Carolina Parakeet? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, what extinct animal do you want me to do next? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!